it's an edge. It's an edge, and he brings that edge, and he sets that edge for our team. He is, along with Jacob Billard, are really the leaders of this team. You know, Damone is a really good basketball player for us, but he's also the emotional leader for this group. I, I look at myself as a defensive player, and I'm really there for my defense to get the ball up the court. I look to score, too, but I look to pass first, and that's just the way that I had always been taught to do it. You know, he's a really good on-the-ball defender, and so that sets our stage defensively. Everybody else wants to make sure they're doing a good job when he's out there really harassing the other team's point guard. Offensively, no one really knows this, but he's probably our best post player, you know, as our point guard. And so we can go to him inside and try to get baskets, along with Jacob and, and Grant Hannon, who's really provided a lot of scoring for us. Damone Doyle's gritty, high-energy play has proven a hallmark in Macomb's basketball success. But it belies a deeper, personal loss that the Bomber Guard has carried for nearly a year now. Last February, his father Ramon was found dead in his apartment at just 43 years old. A seemingly unimaginable and shocking life twist, but one Damone has navigated almost from the outset by putting basketball and team at the heart of his grieving process. He wanted to play right away, and, and we tried to talk to Damone and said, take some time, take as much time as you needed, but he's all about the team. It's team first with Damone. He never wanted to let the team down. Well, basketball is kind of how I kind of connected with my father, and he helped me a lot with it, so it has been really hard playing the sport, but I realized by playing it, that that helps me keep my connection with him. I think it's a haven for him, but he's good at it also. And so that success and that confidence is really what builds up his personality. Yeah, I think he would have been really proud of this season. He would tell me what a lot of the guys on my team tells, tells me to shoot the ball more. And because I don't shoot a lot and I don't look to score a lot. Last year, late in the season and this year, he wants more than anything to win. And he wants to provide whatever he can to the team to make sure that we're successful. And as a coach, you love that about him and you hope that that becomes contagious to the rest of the guys. It is a leadership quality that resonates with teammates without ever having to be spoken. And that kind of bond has made the Bombers incredibly dangerous headed towards the postseason. Our seniors have done a really nice job of leading this group. You know, we have 10 seniors on the team, and they're a relatively tight-knit group. Now, not just in basketball practice or at the games, but around school, around the community. They're really close, and I think that atmosphere has just responded in basketball and just built, and it's built their relationships with each other. And so I think our success has a lot to do with that. You know, our junior class coming in had a lot of success as fresh saw, and so they've added tremendously to our team and they fit in nicely with the older boys with roles, you know, some roles that the necessarily the seniors didn't have, the juniors are able to provide for us. We got a, we got a few tricks up our sleeve for regional, so you'll see that when it comes.